Good evening, Pak Rimun. How are you today? Good evening, Pak Dennis. I'm fine. Yeah. And you? I'm okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you for meeting me. Okay. I want to ask you a few questions, actually, if you okay. don't mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thanks. Um, it's about um, social safeguards okay. in Indonesia. Okay. Uh, you know, because as a foreigner coming in, I'm trying to work out, mm -hmm. you know, we've got the international standards. Okay. Then we have to look at the uh, mm -hmm. national regulations as well to see mm -hmm. how well they fit, yeah? What's the, how, how well they fit. Mm -hmm. And sometimes there's some gaps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how, okay. just tell me something roughly about these gaps. Okay. Yes, uh, 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 there is some gap, yeah, or area to be strengthened, uh, safeguard in Indonesia. Moreover, I'm a social safeguard, so I will stress regarding the social safeguard gap, yeah. Uh, for example, in land acquisition process, uh, there is some gap. In Indonesia regulation, basically, to, whenever we proceed land acquisition for the project, only keep the compensation in in some form, yeah, in cash or land with land and resettlement or other form, yeah, combination both, yeah, include uh, as shareholder basically. Yeah. However, for shareholder only for a public uh, company, we yes. cannot we cannot use for government project. It should be by the uh, a business entity, and then it is should be public uh, or registered company. Okay. Yeah, we cannot uh, if only limited company. Yeah. We cannot. Yeah, it is for shareholder and other. Uh, other attention is no any term in Indonesia regulation. For example, levy restoration. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, and and also regarding the squatter. Yeah. Squatter actually it is affected also. Also, however, it is not entitled in government regulation of land question in Indonesia. It should be. Fill the gap. I see. Okay. Yeah, you know uh, some of these uh, international standards, mm -hmm. like ADB World Bank, mm -hmm. they require income restoration. So okay. people whose uh, livelihoods have become affected mm -hmm. by, say, land acquisition, mm -hmm. apart from paying compensation, okay. I think there's an also a, a requirement to fill the gap. To yeah, to to look at whether they've lost income and how to restore their mm -hmm. source of income. So how how would that problem be solved in Indonesia? Yes, uh, it is a common problem with uh, some project in Indonesia. If uh, receive donor from international uh, funding, yeah. Uh, again, in the compensation uh, contact, Indonesia just uh, give the physical. Uh, asset, yeah, physical asset like uh, land, uh, structure, and plantation, yeah, or other related asset with the land yeah. to be acquired. However, uh, the government regulation is not check whether it is severely or vulnerability, vulnerability aspect. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, if any project and then funded by international donor, and then there is the vulnerability. There is the severity group, so we should try to get another source. I see. Another source, not only come from the uh, budget for land acquisition, because it is not allowed by by our regulation. Land acquisition means providing land. Okay. From the no land become available land. So our regulation not talking about the livelihood. Okay. Not talking about the social impact. Yeah. Social impact is different topic. I see. So we cannot pay from the account of land acquisition. So so the project should be look for another source to fill the gap to be comply with the international uh, safeguard. So what what are examples of other sources of um yeah, for example, uh, central government uh, have a project for local government. Okay. For example, there is a, a dam, maybe, yeah. Uh, there is the uh, embankment construction. 
to avoid the flooding in that area. Yes. So project uh, local governments get benefit, right? Yes. And then the project can negotiate, persuade the local government to share. I see. To share, see. Uh, to fund it in the livelihood restaurant program, for example. And then we can share and make a commitment. And then uh, a source of budget finally will fill the gap. And it is come from the local government who get benefit from this project. That seems to be a very good solution. Yes, that good is, solution. Yeah. But uh, there is, uh, I have uh, evaluated this such uh, approach. Yes. However, still need improve. I First, see. it's a great. It is a great idea. However, yeah. need improve be because uh, the local government has uh, has a procedure. For example, you uh, local government has a training. Training mean only three days. Yes. And with with the special term. You know, livelihood should be flexible. Okay. Uh, yeah. Livelihood should be uh, empowerment approach. Yes, yes. It is need uh, need the what we call the consultant live in in the area to reach to solve uh, problem solving twenty four hours, for example. Yeah. yeah <laughs> However, yeah. if we use one well, local government use uh, use procedure, local government also. And oh. normally not so flexible, like a uh, fund come to the NGO and then uh, accompany the poor people to to get improvement, oh, to see. get restore their livelihood. It is the problem, the next problem. So yeah. it is good, but in the future need to improve. So you must uh, keep the advice, you must uh, uh, innovative. So one last... Uh question but Raymond, sorry to take up your time yeah 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 Thank but you, have, no. have you worked with uh, NGOs before in, in dealing with uh, livelihood restoration yes I actually uh, start from my graduate from uh, a bachelor yes. uh, degree actually I involved in the empowerment so okay. I know well and then the last of very excited experience is with the IFAT project yeah and there is three profin and info uh, five thousand household to to restore start from the uh, remote area and then the and the effort if IFAT is international for agriculture development is always just the poorest in oh, the okay. poorest of area okay. so there is no any jealousy yeah, from yeah, the rich yeah. people yeah, okay. so it is start from zero and then we improve and finally oh it is fantastic yeah we develop self-help group and then become self-help really self-help and then become the leader in the community in some area is become village heads oh okay. and our staff ngo is become famous and then become go to the parliament local parliament <laughs> because very intensive communication it yeah, is yeah, like yeah. a friend like yeah. a big family yeah it is very if uh, livelihood uh, use this approach i think oh it is really can be uh, can be used to restore the livelihood of the affected household, the poor people, the widow, the elder, and the disabled group we call vulnerable people. Right. Okay. That's very informative, Parimon. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. For talking to me. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Bye.